There's got to be a lot of birds in here. There can't just be just one. back guys we are on our way down to kansas right now we actually just went on a tear here in minnesota killed a bunch of birds i think we got two birds in two days had a third one that we added into the episode which is now tied for the second biggest bird in minnesota history super cool stuff but we are on our way to go and try and kill our first rio and we came down here on a whim i got a tag because i put in for the draw this is uh, kansas first year doing a turkey draw and somehow i secured a tag and i'm real happy I can't, I can't be more thankful that I actually got to pull this off. And we actually just secured permission to a piece that's just about 900 acres. So we're gonna have a little bit of room to run around on. And I've been hearing from the owner that there's some birds out there. So we're gonna go, we're gonna go and put that to the test, see if there's actually some birds out there. But I'm stoked to get down down there. This has been a long drive. It's about 10 and a half for us, but we're gonna stick to the road, keep it between the lines and let's get on down there. tour of the property and I'm stoked to get after some birds but that was a long drive I need some sleep so we'll catch you guys in the AM. All right we have just spoke with the landowner got permission and he kind of gave us a little rundown on where these birds are doing their thing. Today is extremely windy I don't know if you guys can tell or not but it's uh, gusts all the way up to 46 today. So I think truly we're gonna use today as a scouting mission. I might do a little bit of calling in some of these areas, but I don't wanna go tromping into these woods too heavy because we got a little storm coming tonight. And then it is calm as I'll get out in the morning. We got six mile an hour winds, which is like unheard of out here. So I'm hoping these birds are talking in the morning and I think we got a good day of hunting ahead of us tomorrow. So I don't really want to go blowing through their areas. I don't want to accidentally walk up on these birds because we don't have knolls to call behind down here. I mean, it's thick, but it's just super duper flat once you get into these bottoms. But we're going to do some glassing from the road, see if we can just see any birds or see anything that we'd like to check out tomorrow. But we'll see what we can do. There's gotta be a lot of birds in here. He, there can't just be just one, or two, or three. 50, there's gonna be 50. I'm calling it. I am looking at a turkey right now. He is full strut. Yeah, so look at the far open spot over there. He's right up here. Is where that bird is. Do we want to try and get on this bird? Let's get across here and I say we hop in that ditch and we just go. Because what's the worst thing that can happen? Oh shoot, we don't hear him when we get down there. He's sitting there strutting by himself out in the middle of nowhere. Let's do her. Let's do it to it. Trip's over before we even get groceries for the trip. If that happens, I'll be the happiest camper you'll ever see. <laughs> Here's where I'm kind of at with things. That bird is either up over that knoll, or is up over that knoll, or he's past us by now. I'm not sure which. 
I almost want to wrap off a few with a box call. Because if I can get a semi-judgment, we can crawl up over knolls, use the hills to our advantage. Yep. So let's work up to this knoll, and we're just we're gonna work everything really, really slow now. So we've gotten to the point that we need to. He's gotta still be up in that area strutting, is my guess. But she's working that green area back and forth because that's the highest point on the property. And it's just sitting there strutting, waiting for him. Battery dropped down into this creek bottom, but if we can get down in there, let out a few, he'll hear us. Sun lit us up. He's right here. You just be patient. Yep. I can't see him. Oh, he's right here. You see him? He's right here. We folded him. We folded him. We just killed our first reel. That's first day. That's first freaking day, dude. I'm shaking like a leaf. Come on. That's our first reel turkey, dude. Whoa! Dude! How about that? Look at the colors on that thing. We haven't even bought groceries. <laughs> I mean, dude. Look at the beard on him. He's got, he got some spurs on him, baby. Oh. First freaking day. I mean, we just spoke to the landowner like three hours ago. Maybe, if that. Holy shnipe, I almost swore. Cut the camera, holy sh <laughs>
Well, that was a lot quicker than I expected. Um, that was first day. I mean, we hadn't even been there 24 hours and we knocked out a bird, but I lost my cool a little bit because that was a lifetime dream of being able to kill a Rio. Ever since I started turkey hunting, Rio's always caught my eye. I don't know why. I think it's just the redness in their feathers. I think it was the, the terrain that you get to hunt them in, but that was a dream come true to be able to kill my first Rio. I've been waiting so long to do it and I finally have did it. But we got it done and we planned for a week. So we decided to take a jaunt down to Oklahoma here and we're gonna try and kill ourselves an Oklahoma bird. But that hopefully is another episode coming to you guys. We are gonna cut it off right here. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. And we do have some apparel now launched. The link will be inside of the bio. You guys go and copy up some of that uh, Prime Ridge merch. Catch you later.